Suppose the charge of proton and an electron differ slightly. One of them is minus E. The other is E plus delta E. If the net electrostatic force and the gravitational force between the two hydrogen atoms are placed at a distance D, much greater than atomic size a path is zero, then delta E is of the order of given mass of the hydrogen is 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kc. So in hydrogen atom, single hydrogen atom it consists one electron and one proton here charge of electron and proton is slightly differ so total charge of hydrogen atom so one positive charge and one negative charge total charge of hydrogen atom is equals to charge of electron minus e plus Given charge of a proton E plus delta E. So, charge of hydrogen atom is equals to delta E. Here, two hydrogen atoms placed at a distance D. So, two hydrogen atoms placed at a distance D. Distance of separation between the two hydrogen atoms is Given distance is Zd. Here the given condition is the net electrostatic force and the gravitational force between two hydrogen atoms placed at a distance D a part is 0. So at this distance D the resultant gravitational force and electrostatic force becomes to 0. That difference is 0. So take that condition electrostatic force is equals to gravitational force electrostatic force k into square of the charges here delta e whole square by square of the distance of separation d square is equals to gravitational force g m into m mass is also same so g m square by distance same d square so on both sides d square get cancelled and from this we want a charge. So delta E is equals to G M square by K whole power 1 by 2. So that is equals to square root of G by K into M because M square whole power 1 by 2 it becomes a M. Now substitute the values and simplify. Delta E is equals to universal gravitation constant value 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 and K value 9 into 10 power 9 and given mass of the hydrogen atom 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg. So this 10 power 9 goes to numerator totally this value becomes to 10 power minus 20. Square root of 6.67 value 2.58 into 10 power. So this value becomes to minus 10 into 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 by Square root of 9 becomes to 3. So multiply 2.58 into 1.67 and divide with 3. Then approximately we get 1.56 into 10 power minus 10, 10 power minus 27, 10 power minus 37. So charge of hydrogen 1.56 into 10 power minus 37 coulombs. Then delta E is of the order of. So check the given options. 10 power minus 23, 10 power minus 37. So it is in the order of 10 power minus 37 coulombs. So second option is correct.